Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your April 2019 general reading. So it's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius that views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Okay, so we're trying something new here. Um, let's get started, all right? So we're going to have a, a, a catalyst card from the Angel Answers deck to see what the reading is all about or just to kind of bring the reading in okay so let's see what do the angel answers cards have to tell us oh everyone is having a really good uh end of march into april let me pick these cards up okay aquarius uh too many cards fell out so we're just gonna shuffle again and hopefully we get okay we got wait Ugh. wait so we're waiting uh of course this is going to be relative to whatever you've got going on in your life um and we'll clarify that also okay so let's get started with the general reading we're going to do one card for the past one for the present one for the near future okay wait such a sucky car wait why I don't want to wait <laughs> okay too many all right let's go past okay the past we have the five of swords so this talks about of course the arguing the heavy argument but this is argument because there is a uh, something that cropped up from the past so now we're dealing with a situation where we're arguing with maybe others or ourselves or this is pretty much with others in regards to a situation that we thought was either over, we had dealt with, but now it's back. It also talks about interference. Interference in something long-standing, uh, job. Um, marriage uh, talks about interference within a union so we have the union of marriage we have the uh, union in, in regards to a job or corporation so it's something that in the past there was strife and in, in, in someone trying to one up it's in the past you could even be doing this with it uh, a fellow air sign Ari Aquarius Gemini Libra uh, it's in the past so that's really good energy for the past right um, let's see presently we are okay the Queen of Pentacles now this kept popping out of the deck off camera all right so the queen of pentacles the the queens are always pretty much focused on their um their element so you're focused on um what is tangible what is uh rules us earthly the 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 pentacle uh money home uh family um you're taking on that earth energy and you're more focused more grounded uh, maybe in the in the past you weren't. Um, this looks like somebody's trying to really uh, get more focused on what it is they want, how they want it, how they want it to come to them. Uh, let's see. Near future. We've got the Queen of Swords. Okay, two queens here. So you're definitely focused on yeah this is a an aquarius who is i'm focused on what it is i really want that will ground me um monetarily uh physically uh in my everyday life my home and i'm i'm more so concerned with cutting all out or cutting away from uh situations that no longer serve me i don't have time for frivolousness if that's a word I'm hearing that I don't have time for the 
the drama five of swords of the past um, two queens very focused on what it is you want now this could be in love this could be in career this more so looks like an overall life type of situation where you're focused on I want to get my life right um, Wow bottom of the deck the five of cups lots of change here within long-standing existing unions in your life uh, this could be um, or institutions this could be how you think this could be of course your work your marriage uh, the institution of marriage right uh, five of cups Either you or someone is focused on trying to put a situation that's just not working back together. It looks like Aquarius may be focused on cutting it out because they understand that maybe something better. And someone else may be focused on kind of trying to rekindle, uh, reconcile a situation that uh, maybe Aquarius no longer even wants to uh, be a part of. Um, I'm hearing this in career and love, okay? So, let's clarify, right? Let's see what we got here going. What is the Five of Swords in the past? Some of you, it's like job, like I, I, I want to, and I know that I'm done with this job. I know that I'm done with this way of making money. I want to, uh, entrepreneurship. I want to um, branch out on my own. Ten of Cups. The Five of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Could be family. It could be your overall happiness. Um, I'm concerned about the highest level of happiness I can have for myself. I'm trying to get to the culmination of happiness. Uh, but things just keep cropping up from the past. This also talks about delay. And, and we have the overall energy of weight. So... This could be the Aquarius having done the work, having to wait in regards to uh, maybe some delay that came in, some cancellation or reversal, uh, interference. Uh, but Aquarius is completely focused on life goals. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. I'm focused on my money. I'm focused on getting truth and clarity in regards to what it is I need to do next in career and or family uh, relationship. Could be both. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and clarify that. Hermit. All right. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo directly. Um, if not, you've gained a sense of clarity and wisdom in regards to what it is you need to do next. This is also separating yourself from. Now you fill in the blank in regards to what you separated yourself from. Um, I separate myself from to gain clarity truth and clarity what is the queen of swords about truth and clarity right um in regards to my next move because the hermit goes up and uh separates themselves in regards to okay what's the next move from here uh where do i go from here um also the nines and the hermit as a nine talks about ending i'm at the end of a cycle i'm not exactly there which would be the 10, but I'm at an ending. I know it's ending. I know that it's ending. Uh, what do I do next? Um, what move should I make next? Also, re reflected on past experience. Um, yeah. I look back to the past 
so I know which way I'm going in the future. I don't want to take the same uh, path or the same route or do the same thing, okay? This may be in career and finance. Somebody is also trying to work on like financial matters, credit worthiness, um, getting things in order. Some of you have a business that you need to get in order in regards to uh, cash flow, um, money. Or what are you doing? Are you selling it or are you going to continue to grow it? Uh, Queen of Swords in the near future. Some of you bought a, a home. It was a it was a journey in doing so, but it happened. And that's good. Congratulations! Wow, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. So for definitely for some of you, this is union. Okay, King and Queen of Pentacles. This could be marriage. Uh, to a Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm strongly feeling Virgo and Taurus. Could be a Capricorn. What do I do about this husband or wife that I have been in separation with who possibly has or wants to come back? That's what these cards say. Uh, it looks like you're taking the Queen of Swords stance. You're not going to make it easy for this person. Um, it probably shouldn't be easy for them to just come back. Um, yeah. In regards to love and romance. In regards to uh, career and finance. You're getting very clear about stability. And maintaining it and or cultivating it for yourself uh, that's pr you know pretty much it uh, saving money getting large sums of money king of wands kept popping out of the deck off camera some of you are definitely entrepreneurs or thinking of that thinking of following the heart's um, desire passion I have an idea. I move on the idea. The King of Wands makes moves. Two Kings here. Two Queens. What you're focused on and what you're trying to become. And this could be love. Of course, you get two men or two women. Not necessarily seeing it that way all together but it very well could be I mean five of cups temperance what what I say somebody's focused on trying to come back and trying to rekindle and renew trying to make a situation work uh the alchemist uh if I do this um then maybe it'll work and if I do that and if I do this you see how she well he pours the uh the cups and trying to balance and trying to find balance within um, a relationship within the two cups. It's gonna be two, yeah. So this definitely could be a relationship to someone comes back and they're trying to put the relationship back together, put the situation back together. Let's see what the advice of the cards say. Uh, let's see. Should Aquarius take them back? These all popped out. I'm going to take them. We got the Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the uh, Knight of Wands. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. Um, if, if you're looking for a straightforward yes or no, this is no <laughs> this is no this is this is divorce and or separation this is having high anxiety about the divorce and or separation that is already taking place that is already here this is our second nine 
in in the spread so there is separation whether it's physical or it's just mental and emotional you still live with the person but you guys don't talk we don't do anything together they come in the house i go out you know whatever um this is a person who is after what it is they want all the time they're in and out they're hot and cold yes i love you but yeah no it, it, it it's hard to pin this energy down the advice of the cards is it will be a solid no um you'll be chasing after a person or a situation um, that's just not ready to be in, mo um, uh, in what they're offering they're not ready this could be a fire sign but it could be any sign Aries Sagittarius Leo it also could be in uh, air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius um, you also could be dealing with someone who's contemplating leaving someone they have not left that someone um, and that's why you kind of cut them out and, and uh, you're trying to maintain your distance there is distance they come back they miss you a lot of times people don't necessarily miss you like the core of you they miss having access to you um, they're going to try to do whatever they can do in regards to trying to make it work this could be a Sagittarius person Virgo Capricorn Leo Aries that everybody's here not a lot of water but it could be a water sign um look what they're offering this is our offer the in and out action and then look what they tried to do whatever they can do to make this work they tried to temper the relationship to it you know change the temperament of it but not necessarily change their temperament or change a real change within it's just trying to you know manipulate the energy uh so that they can have what they want the king of wands is also about what he wants he has an idea he has a thought and he goes after it this could be a female but that's most time male energy okay uh that's the advice of the cards um divorce and or separation is here because there may have been infidelity lies and secrets um what you guys were trying to create stopped at the three of swords you couldn't get it together um in regards to this relationship this this relationship this person coming back brings you a lot of anxiety aquarius because they're in and out they may travel a lot they're after their own passion right now. Their own passion, their own heart. Okay, let's close out with some of the Raggedy Butterfly Oracle cards. But I love these cards. And, and um, they've helped lots of people. Okay, so what should... You know what, I should just order another deck tonight. And you know what? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I like them. Anyway. Um, let's see what Aquarius should be focused on moving forward. What is Aquarius focused on moving forward? Oh, we got to clarify weight also. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is not funny. This is not, it's not funny. It's confirming, right? Leaving. This is what you should be focused on. Leaving this old situation behind. This is what you should be focused on. I won't even elaborate. You you already know. Aquarius. Come on. You know. Taking the next step now. Wow. Some of you are dealing with somebody who is in that funk of one foot in, one foot out. Right? And then some of you, Aquarius, are this energy. I'm leaving, I'm not leaving. One foot in, one foot out. Um, I don't know what the next, uh, I don't know what the next 
step is for me. So I haven't taken it. Body changes. Okay, so that shifted gears. Um, there may be some body changes that you need to... Um, when your body talks, listen to it, right? There may be some good body changes. Because this is also talk about working out and um, getting more physically... Uh, astute and inclined in regards to your body uh, and you could be seeing results in regards to the working out so that that it could be an it could you know be a good thing also not just bad bottom of the deck <laughs> moving Aquarius leaving take the next step now body changes moving uh, get moving in regards to wanting to see body changes and or some of you, you are physically moving, uh, physically moving uh, to a new location or physically moving away from. Okay, uh, let's clarify. Excuse me, let's clarify weight. Let's clarify weight. What is weight? What is weight for the Aquarius? Nice. The Empress. Wait. Wait, because what you are doing the leg work on, and we saw that in the beginning of the reading when I was uh, seeing someone having done work in regards to maybe trying to cultivate um, a level of stability in their life in regards to the pentacle and in regards to just cutting out things or people that don't serve them any longer. Uh, wait because you are the Empress see what sets the Empress apart from of course the Queens uh, you know is so the Queens are kind of appointed to that that status they're married into the royal family so they sit on a throne made for them the Empress look she sits in the midst of wilderness and on a throne that she made for herself this is all about creation and what you have done the work in regards to will um, manifest for you. This is absolutely gorgeous, uh, Aquarius. Wait, because some of you have done some work and the, the culmination of that work will come back to you. The threes, uh, the three of wands, I'm waiting for that return. The three of cups, maybe I'm waiting for the return, the, the reunion of, or I'm waiting for uh, the opportunity to celebrate. Uh, the three of swords I'm waiting for to divorce to separate uh, to be done with um, and then the three of Pentacles um, I'm waiting to uh, go to that next level in regards to the four of Pentacles and have that status that I need I've done the work I'm getting recognition for it so this is absolutely beautiful Aquarius you've done the work it looks like something comes back crops up from the past or a person comes back and they want to um, rekindle renew it's up to you the cards say no especially if they're a fire sign maybe an air sign i don't know um get a personal reading uh or, or do the five dollar one question should i should i not um it has to be a yes or no question though you can't don't make it long when it is should i accept john back yes or no yeah you know? anyhow aquarius thank you for um tuning in today this this was overall a really good reading it's more so confirming of energy that you probably already know uh what what you needed to do in regards to so thank you um all information of how to reach me is below my website um, the link for the $5 yes or no question it has to be a yes or no question. Don't make it a three part. Should John come back and move in and live upstairs with the cat? The cat is, I'm, come on, come on. Anyhow, take care guys. Thank you. Bye for now.